Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I am currently on the east end of the Untersea at Mangrove College. So, let's go ahead and check this place out. I should have a quest here for somebody that I need to bring back to Venderbite. A steaming sprawl of parasynthetic vegetation. And a village. Barely a village. Hold walls, roofs in disrepair. Stilts leaning dangerously. It looks to have been assembled in uh, by drunks in a hurry. Dock carefully. <laughs> assembled by drunks in a hurry. Uh, hmm. All right, yeah. So there's a bunch of stuff here. My God. Pick up an absent friend for vendor bite. That must be the quest. Something that involves a foxfire candle. You know, those foxfire candles seem to be handy for a lot of story-based events. All right, let's get a port report, right? That's not going to harm anything to get a port report? No. All right, let's get a port report. Sages, scholars, philosophers, naturalists, poets, dreamers, here to pursue their rarefied ideals in a land of muddy fecundity. All shall be well. The thinkers of the Mangrove College continue their untroubled and sedentary existence. New schools of philosophy are born and die like bubbles. Extraordinary poetry are written in water. The occasional retired pirate tries, and fails, to get invited to salons. Oh, I gain a supply. And my hunger disappeared. That's actually very helpful. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pretty close to starving. Well, I mean, I'm not close to starving. I mean, let's be honest. If we run out of food, I'm going to just hoard my own food for the captain and the rest of my crew can starve. Because, you know, captain's right, right? Alright, let's do the quest. Pick up an absent friend for Venderbite. The directions take you to a frondy hovel in the shade of a swamp oak. When you knock, the whole thing quivers as if it's come unmoored. A tall woman, imposing despite a layer of mud, opens the door. Has he sent word? She asks. She grins delightedly. Let's be off. To Venderbite. Don't spare the engine. Don't spare the engines. It's been too long. I now have a shady sort. Hmm. This taciturn woman has business in the Corsair's forest. Now what is this? Engage an officer, maybe his daughter. Hello. Where are you headed? On second thoughts, I don't mind. Can I come aboard? Yes, uh, I'm an engineer. But I'm an engineer in a hurry. Maybe's daughter is an engineer who increases Vale's iron and engine power. Hmm. Well, even though I have every position filled, as far as I know, there's no harm in taking on additional officers because they just show up here. Unassigned available officers, and she... It doesn't seem like it takes any money to actually recruit her, so... Yeah, I guess I'll take her. If anyone comes looking for me... Well, I'm not accepting callers. Can I trust you to pass that on? You don't want them distracting me from my duties. Alright, let's see what she's about. A smile, a wink, a butterfly tattoo. An intense and detailed knowledge of weaponry and engines. Veils plus 6, iron plus 3, engine power plus 100. Ooh. That's pretty good. How does that compare to my current? Engineer. Let's put them side by side. Veils plus 8. Veils plus 6. I think she's better. So she increases Veils by 2 less. But she increases iron by 3, which he doesn't do at all. And then she increases engine power by 100, whereas he increases fuel efficiency by 5%. I like fuel efficiency, but 5%, I have to admit, that's not much. A 5% increase in fuel efficiency means that... Something like, if I used up 20 fuel, then with him, I would still have one additional fuel left after that. So by having him on, every 20 fuel used, I will actually have... Like, I'll, I'll gain one fuel in 20 or, or something. I don't know how to say that correctly, but yeah. Something like that. That's not... It's not much of a difference. 
Engine power plus 100, that's... It's probably not going to make a huge difference to speed. Because engine power seems to be a fairly large number. I mean, my current engine power is 1,500. But... It's not bad. Let's see, if I was at 1,000, that'd be a 10% increase. If I was at 2,000, it'd be 5%. It's right in the middle, so I guess it's... 7 point... Whatever percent. Increase in, in engine power. I think she's better. Let's see if she increases my damage because of her iron plus three. 1726. Those are the minimums for the two weapons. 1726. 1826. Okay, so yeah, she increased it a little bit. Well, the Shady Sword is actually considered cargo. How does that feel to be considered cargo? Yeah, I think I'm going to take her. I like fuel efficiency, because I do burn through fuel so fast, but 5%, I don't think it's worth it. And you know what? I just realized something. Engine power plus 100, that means I go faster. Does that not have a similar effect to fuel efficiency? I go faster, so I get where I need to go faster. But is engine power decoupled from fuel use? Or does increasing your engine power make you use up proportionally more fuel to go faster? I have no idea, but I'm going to take her. And let's speak to her, too. Oh, look at the butterfly tattoo on her cheek. Perhaps you don't entirely trust her, but she keeps the engines turning, and she's hard to dislike. Prop <laughs> I can proposition her? Uh... She has no interest in tediously sincere lovers. Ensure your veils is at least 20 points higher than your hearts. I have a lover back in London, so... No. What do you need anyway? You need veils 61, I have 35. Yeah, that's not happening. Invite her to dine with me? She wants a strange catch? How about a fish dinner? I do have quite particular tastes in fish. I see. Alright, so that's not happening just yet. Oh man, I've gained a bunch of secrets. I've got eight now. Just leave that for now. I, actually, I should spend some of my, my secrets. Let's keep increasing my mirrors. It's you who can increase my mirrors, right? Mm-hmm. There we go, that's good. And what do you do? Increase my hearts? Sure. Okay. Back to the Mangrove College. Wait. Pick up an absent friend for vendor bite. But I, I just did. Did I just get another one? No, I still only have one. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that option then. Unpick the mysteries of other lands. 77 fragments. It's not too bad. Unlock with seven memories of distant shores. Ooh. That's a fairly expensive kind of... If you think of the Memories of Distant Shores as basically keys to unlock this, then that's actually a, a fairly expensive key, which means what you get for it's probably pretty good. And I've got a bunch of them. This will convert these items to a secret. The scholars of the college are hungry for lore. They'll help you put the pieces together. Hmm. Seven Memories of Distant Shores and 77 fragments for a secret. It's not bad. I mean, it's not like I'm saving up the, mem the Memories of Distant Shores for anything in particular. I think I'll probably do that. Yeah, let's do that. Gained a secret. A dozen strands, a single knot. It all makes sense now. Or sense enough, at least. Okay, so as far as my something awaits me in port, I can either eat, drink, be merry, gather supplies, or go beachcombing. That sounds like fun. Let's go beachcombing. Ships come and go. 
to and from the Mangrove College, often in secret. What might they have flung overboard? Take a stroll along the beach. Perhaps the Z has brought you something. Hmm. A nasty glob of glue, something glinting, or driftwood. I'm surprised that fish in that picture actually looks kind of normal. I didn't know any I didn't know anything even vaguely normal existed in the Z. I thought everything just had like massive teeth and red glowing eyes. Goo, glint, or driftwood. I I have no idea. The nasty glob of glue is kind of intriguing. Did I just say nasty glob of glue? Nasty glob of goo. Driftwood. A wooden horse. It was a child's toy once. Someone inscribed their name on it, and a string of numbers. Ciphers? Fifty fragments. Hm. Okay, nothing else to do. <laughs> That's another place you can put a Blemigan ashore. I don't know what's up with these Blemigans. Okay, so I do need to take her back, the woman that I just got. I need to take her back to Venderbite, right? Where is that even in here? Bring... Wait, I just saw it. Bring a shady sword to Venderbite from the Mangrove College. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's go. So where are we going? Um, we are very low on supplies. And ultimately I want to go to Aestevel to get supplies. But... Let's go... Let's go to Khan's Shadow. Yeah, because I can buy supplies there. It's probably going to be relatively expensive, but that's fine. And I'm also going to sell my captivating treasure. What in the hell is that? I don't know. I just see the wake of something, so I'm going <laughs> to go a little bit around it. Wait, there's something here? Oh, some islands here. Whoa. How many hit points does that thing have? 300. I could probably take it, but... I don't want to risk it. Alright, see, so these are the Autumn Islands. Doesn't look like there's anywhere to dock. Yeah, I'd prefer not to take on anything that has significantly more hit points than I do. Wakey, wakey. You know, hold on a second. I might not even need to buy supplies. I don't think I do. I think I can make it to Aesteville. Let's not risk it, though. Anyway. Uh, port report, of course. Yes, let's go ahead and sell... Our captivating treasure for 1,000. Oh, yes. Boom. I am now rich. Uh, not really. Well, supplies actually aren't too expensive. 25 compared to 20 back at London. That's not bad. I'm just going to get one. I tend to overbuy. I think one's fine. My hunger's only 8 at the moment. That should be plenty. That'll be fine. 22 fuel, that's fine. Nothing else I want to mess with. No. Um... You know what I could do? You know what, now that I have a bit of money, I want to advance one of my officer's quests. So I have a quest that involves, I believe, an empty mirror catch box and a clay man. Let me just make sure that that is actually what I need. That's the stuff I need to take to the basement at Hunter's Keep. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, take a clay man and an empty mirror catch box to Hunter's Keep. Again, I don't know what's going to happen if I transfer the clay men 
like they, they want me to transfer the claymen to London. And what happens if I don't bring all the claymen back to London? Because there's going to be one missing. Because I'm, I'm going to use him up, I suppose, at Hunter's Keep. Although maybe I won't. I mean, just because you need to clay men doesn't mean that you're going to lose the clay the clay man, right? Not necessarily. Yeah. Hmm. But if I use them up, are they even gonna? I don't know if they pay me per clay man or what. I don't know how that's gonna work. But I think I'm gonna do it. Let's let's do it. Let's be adventurous. So, let's go ahead and buy an empty mirror catch box. It's only 250, so it's not too bad. Plenty of hold space. Mm -hmm. This box just looks like... It just looks like a cardboard box. <laughs> That's an expensive cardboard box. We're good on supplies. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We can just leave, I think. All right, so now we're gonna head to a Godfall and dump up the dump off the casks of mushroom wine. Though, hold on. I want to go to Khan's Glory. Hold on, I'm gonna go over to the Khan's. Ooh, there's a ship up there. Let's ignore it for the moment. There is no what. The ship's coming after me? Really? I think it has 210 hit points. You really want to come after me? Good luck. I'm way faster than you. Yeah, the reason I want to go here is because I want to see what it takes to actually unlock the trade quarter. Because it wasn't just Drowning Pearl. Some people were mentioning that I can use... Use Dark Drop Coffee Beans. And I remember something about that, but I don't remember how many I needed. Like, I thought there was something about the Dark Drop Coffee Beans that made them prohibitively expensive or something. There's something about them I didn't like, but I want to be sure, because... Because I can find Dark Drop Coffee Beans, but finding Drowning Pearls is, seems to be quite hard. Was it at the other place? Yeah, it was at the other place. We can, like, petition the lions and stuff. Hmm. Seek a commercial license? I'm pretty sure they just say no. Yeah. Alright, let's go check out the other place. Because I really do want to unlock the ability to trade here. I think it's pretty important. Yeah, so this is the one. They offer a gift to the leopard. So they want uh, five sacks of dark drop coffee beans. So I need to gain the leopard's favor. I don't know how much favor this is going to give me, though. That's the problem. Like, I would assume it would only give me one favor. And given that I have two favor and I need five to petition for access to the Nefreedy Quarter, I would think that I need 15 sacks of dark drop coffee beans. That's what I would assume. So let me write this down in my notes. There we go. I've got a special text document that has all my kind of special instructions for stuff that I need to do or like particular amounts of items that I need to bring to certain places for certain things. So I just wrote down five dark, dark drop coffee beans for one times leopard's favor and Khan's glory. I'm just assuming it gives me only one favor, because it probably does. That's what the Drowning Pearls did. I think. So how expensive is our Dark Drop Coffee Beans? Let's check. So we can... Oh right, you can buy them for 38 at the Iron Republic. 
Let's see. You can also buy them for 38 at Adam's Way. Mm, can't buy them there. Yeah, so at the moment I can buy them from the Iron Republic or from Adam's Way. Both at the same price, 38 per each one. Which, if it's 38 per each one and I need 3 times 5, I need 15, so I need 15 times 38. Which, if I open up a calculator... Okay, assuming that uh, five sacks of Dark Drop Coffee Beans gets me one favor, and I do need three of them, of course, then 15 times 38 would be 570 Echo. So that's pretty damn expensive. That's really expensive. Yeah, that's a lot of money. I can't really afford that right now. I really would like to stay above a thousand, preferably. Alright. Should I cruise past? Sure. Ooh, I failed. A warning shot. Sculpted curves of stone and silver. Coral statue. A triple salvo from a gun emplacement sc scars your, your bow. Turn back to the sanctioned harbor quickly. Gain two suspicion. Lost one hole. It's a nasty warning shot. Alright, screw you guys, I'm going home. Now, what's the best way to get out of here? So, I want to go to Godfall. And Polythreme. Do they sell supplies there? I don't remember. Because I don't think I have enough supplies to get to Ace Devil at the moment. Now that I took my, my little detour to the Khan's Glory and stuff. The Canate. Should probably take a stop back at Khan's Shadow. Let's go do that. That boat didn't come after me. You can try, but you're never going to catch me. I would shoot it, but I think it's a Canate warship, and I'm worried about that. That affecting my relations with the Canate people. Although, if it wants to shoot me, I suppose there's nothing wrong in kind of defending myself. Alright, two supplies will be fine. Do I need more fuel? Nah, I'm good. Alright, Godfall time. You know, if this boat gets in my way when I'm heading to Godfall, I'm just gonna kill it. Alright, screw you. Let's get behind it. Quickly. 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 Yes, we're behind it. Does it not have any aft guns? I don't think it has any aft guns. Pushing this thing along. Yeah! You've destroyed a war Tremarian. Or tr Tremarin. Shattered listing, seize what you can. Oh, I did gain suspicion by killing it. Shit, I was worried about that. I've only gained one, though, but that, that does mean I probably want to avoid killing them in the future. So, now I know. Not too bad. Nothing, nothing horrible's happened. I really don't want to mess up my chances of doing trade with the Canate, though. I, I, I'm not going to go past looking for a port report like I did before, where I failed and gained two suspicion. I'm not going to kill any of their stuff. Yeah, let's not do that. Two supplies, and I didn't even take any damage. That was absolutely worth it. I'm surprised it didn't have any aft guns. I felt like it would have. It seemed like a pretty beefy warship. By the way, if you want to be creeped out by this game, just occasionally just peer down to the logbook. Because every once in a while, you look down there and it says something like, Something drifts, face down. It's like, oh my god. I regret reading that. 
I don't want to think about that. Take my mushroom wine. 150 echo. Not bad. Not that much money, but it's something. Ah, uh, yes. Five foxfire candles for this place. I think I have that in my notes, don't I? No, I don't think I do. Let me write that down. Five foxfire candles for Godfall. There we go. Yeah, foxfire candles are very helpful for story events all over the place. They don't have a shop. Report, report. And we're good. Creepy faces. Let's not get eaten by the creepy faces under the water. Let's go to Polythreme. What's the best way to get to Polythreme? I don't want to thread the needle right there. Let's give these things a wide berth. I really feel like they're going to... Oh, I can take you on. Especially when you just present your back to me. Thank you. This is less ship battle and more bumper cars. <laughs> An intriguingly lumpy sack. Sindelac? Ooh, that's pretty valuable. I think it's worth about 70? Man, even keeping my lights on pretty much all the time, my terror is still going up. I need to get in combat some more. I just realized I accidentally closed my audio recording program. Well, I mean, I didn't close it, I minimized it. Which means I can't see it, which is very disturbing, because now I, no, I'm not quite sure it's actually working. So I'm going to bring it up in a second to make sure I haven't stopped recording, because that would be very, very bad. It would be very awkward if I've been talking to myself and not even recording it. One second. Are right, we good? Test, test, test. Yeah, it's still recording. Okay. Get a port report. Yeah, so I'm going to carry the clay men, and I'm going to use one of them for Hunter's Keep. For that quest that I'm doing for one of my officers. I do have room, right? Oh yeah, plenty of room. Yeah, let's take him. Come aboard! I don't want to do this, because it says it's an expensive place to reduce terror. Which implies that the only thing that's going to happen is the reduction of terror. And I don't really need to reduce terror at the moment, so let's not do it. Okay, think I'm good. Yeah, so I'm pretty low on supply, so I do need to head to Aestavel very soon. So let's take a quick stop at the Nativity, where I believe I can use one of my casks of mushroom wine to do something. Because I've got one cask left. Right there. And then we can head up to Aestavel and get some more supplies. Spider time! Look at all the spiders, aren't they so cute? I just want to hold one and pet one. Ah, 
Ah, yes, it was the port report that requires some wine. For some reason. The silk traders of the, nat of the nativity know better than to risk loose chatter. Still, a little contribution to their festival may loosen their tongues. An, an off-the-cuff scripted response. And the silk traders don't talk much. In particular, they don't talk of the sorrow spiders at their feet, over their heads, or crawling over them as they sleep. Spiders? We'll not be having that kind of talk about the generous neighbors, they say with haste, in raised voices. They don't even want to talk about the spiders. They're not even spiders, they're just generous neighbors. That crawl all over them as they sleep. <laughs> uh. Oh, can I make another delivery of trinkets? I didn't know I could keep doing that. Sure. Yeah, let's just take as many things back to London as possible. This is going to be a, an eventful day when I get back to London. I'm going to have this box full of, like, sorrow spider eggs. Which is probably very, very illegal. I'm going to have clay men. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of very illegal vials of red honey. Like, damn. Alright, let's do it. Meet with an emissary of spiders. That's, that sounds creepy. Hold on, what can I do here? Uh, nothing worth anything. 10% chance? 14% chance? No. Hold on, if I use this up here, am I going to have it back by the time I get to Aceville? My something awaits me in port? Yeah, I, sh I should. I should have it back. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's meet with an emissary of spiders. He has witnessed much, yet seen nothing, since the sorrow spiders he serves harvested his eyes. What? The sorrow spiders harvested his eyes. Okay. Hi. Ah, my good sir, or is it madam, or another salutation perhaps? Pardon my ignorance. He taps his blindfold. The honor of serving the acrimonious masters does somewhat leave one at a disadvantage in matters of detail. He smiles. Blind to light is not, however, deaf to rumor. I wonder, might I prevail upon the good-natured individual I have heard contributed so much to our little festival? Splendid. Splendid. He leans in close. My benefactors have charged me with seeking... a special sustenance for a special occasion. I am sure an experienced zailer such as yourself sees through the necessary euphemism. Uh, shall we say... Unfortunates, unfortunates of little future, such as your tomb colonists. Were perhaps a select few to find a different destination for the greater good, I can promise more than fair compensation for any su uh, subsequent regrets. You may be able to obtain trusting tomb colonist tourists at Venderbite, if you've assisted them in the past. I don't think I have. I think I need to assist them some more before they're able before I'm able to do that, because I don't remember any option that allows me to just take tomb colonists. Even if I could, I don't know if I want to bring them to be harvested <laughs> harvested by the sorrow spiders. That's creepy as hell. Yeah, my quality is now ten. A supplier of tomb colonists to spiders? Question mark, exclamation mark. Yeah. I don't think I want to do that. And I don't need the supplies. I'm good. All right, let's go. Up to Aceville. Just straight north. I'm really worried about my cargo hold being... Eyes on the deck. Don't look at the stars. Lost one tear. I'm really worried about my hold being searched back in London because of the red vials of honey. I don't know if there's anything I can do to avoid that. I mean, I have to go back there. 
As far as I know, there's no kind of preparation that I can do. So, I guess we'll just roll with it and see what happens. I'm not sure if it's just a random chance that you'll be searched, or... Or what, because I know sometimes I've gone back there and they've searched me, and sometimes I go back there and they don't. Any behemoth dishes? Must bring the behemoth dishes out from the deeps. Come to me. Oh, I can even fill the mirror catch box. Interesting. Well, unfortunately, I need it to be empty for the quest, but... Anyway, let's gather supplies. Ten supplies. Oh, I didn't even lose a Zaylor this time. I got lucky. God damn, that is so good. That's 200 Echo worth of supplies right there. If you buy your supplies at London, they're 20 each. Ten times 20, it's 200. That, that is incredible. Yeah, this place is really wonderful. Let's get a port report. Alright, this may increase your wounds. <laughs> so I guess in putting the box out to catch the sunlight, you get a bit of a sunburn. And from what people told me, um, wounds happen because of story events, as this obviously is, and apparently if you reach, I think it was four wounds, you die. So if you become too wounded, you die. I don't think I want to do this, but let me just check real quick. If I filled the box, like, what, I wonder if I could trade in this. If I keep buying empty mirror catch boxes and filling them, you know, how much money can I make? Let's check. Sunlight filled can sell for 300 at Gator's Morn. The box itself was 250. That 50 profit, and I'm, I'm going to get probably hurt in the process. That's not good. Any others? Empty box, three secrets. Full of angry snakes? No, that's not the one. Nope, that's it. Yeah, 50 profit? Nah. I think the only thing this is good for is probably just... Just, um, getting the right item for a story event, not really for selling. Alright, good on supplies. We're a bit low on fuel, but, uh... Will we actually be okay on fuel? Maybe I should take a stop at Mount Palmerston. I mean, if I can get back, I'm set on fuel because I have so many port reports, I'm good. I think I can make it back. I think I'll be okay. I know I really want to skimp on fuel. Because of the port reports, because I know in the past I've bought too much fuel and then I go back and I get the port reports and turn them in and then I have to dump some fuel overboard. It is going down awfully fast, though. Whoa. Oh, I can take them on, no problem. Let's go, bring it on. Maybe I can get some fuel from him. No, don't turn towards me. Shit. Don't shoot! Fuck. Alright, it's okay. We're good now. Slow down, would you? Fuel, fuel, fuel. Bolt of spider silk. Eh, I'll take it. Reduce my terror quite a bit, too. Excellent. Yeah, stop it, Nuncio. Oh, 
I'll skimp a little bit on the lights just to save fuel. This place is strangely calming. Even though I don't have my lights on, it's actually green. It's actually... or it was reducing my terror. This went yellow for a second for some reason. Hmm... Port report. Yeah, let's get a port report. Oh, I gained a memory of distant shores, as well as a port report. Do some more shift work. Explore along the beach. Let's go to the tavern. Trade war stories. I don't think that does anything, because I've already done it, right? Yeah, it hasn't changed. No, I've done that before. I think if I explore along the beach, I can gain, like, a weird artifact or something. What if I do some shift work? Hmm. Claim a respectable envelope from the dead letter selection. Sure. Dear, dear mama. Sensible of the honor of your advances. Regret that I cannot accept your proposal. Unable to leave the sight of darling mama while she still suffers her rheumatic complaint. Considering her lifetime of sacrifice and raising her children cannot leave her now. Certain you will understand. All my wishes for your future happiness. The writing is even, tidy, untroubled. It did not grieve the writer to send. That is, assuming dear mama did not compose this message, this message herself. That's so weird, having all these fragments of, well, not fragments, but just all these letters and parcels that are meant to be delivered and just looking at this strange bit of history from who even knows how long ago, years. Just these tiny unsent messages that meant something between people. I don't know, it's just weird. Gain 30 fragments, not bad. Let's end my shift. Explore along the beach. I don't think there's any point in doing anything here, because I don't have time... I don't have something awaits me in port. I can collect material, but I don't think that really does anything. Yeah, it doesn't actually increase anything, it just increases my... dead posts, but I don't think that does anything. So I can feed them in, but... Yeah, it doesn't change. Hasn't changed. I've done this before, so it doesn't change anything. Yeah, let's go. Should I stop at Port Cecil? Sure. Yeah, people are actually telling me that it's... Oh. Ignore the dreams. Lost one tear. People are telling me that it's actually worth it to do the... Uh, to play chess at Port Cecil, even if your chances of winning are fairly low. So I guess I might do that. Because I, I remember the gains from succeeding at the, the game of chess was actually very, very good. It's just that the chance of winning kept going down and down and down the further I played, because I was playing more advanced players. So I started to get a little bit scared. around Port Cecil. What the hell? I didn't know these creatures lived on this coral island. It doesn't seem like the sort of creature that could live here. Uh, yeah, this is the same event that happened like in a forest somewhere, I think. So I'm not gonna read it again. 
These are way too tricky. Even with my really high mirror skill, 67, even with that, my chance of succeeding is only 40%. Let's retreat. 80% chance of success. I was fortunate. Gained one terror, gained a tale of terror, and we're all good. Okay. We're fine. Can I buy stuff? I might buy some fuel. Maybe. Alright, so, yeah, chess. 51% chance of success. Alright, let's try it. Did I succeed? I succeeded, wow. A disciplined success. Odd thoughts bubble up each time you touch a chess piece. This one longs for home. This one has a secret desire for revenge against the slayer of its rank mate. <laughs> I think I read this before. Yeah, I did. Win enough games and something will occur. Hmm. It says developments. Principality. Principles end, principality. The coral is changing. What? I gained a page, though, which is very good. 34% chance? Ew. Okay, I guess I'll keep trying. I don't think I've ever lost one, so I don't even know what happens if you lose. Let's see, did I fail? I succeeded again? How do I keep succeeding? I had a 30-something percent chance of succeeding that. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. You don't know how long you've been playing. You want to match another. The rough coral tips of the chess pieces are smeared with blood. Yours, your opponent's... Oh yeah, I read this before. Do, do, do. Gambits answered. Four secrets. Okay. That is really, really good. And I gained a page. That is incredibly good. Four secrets. Jesus Christ. Twenty-six percent chance? Sure. I've got to fail one of these times, right? Okay, I did fail. You don't often look at chess pieces. Not really look. The bishops with their hooks. The knight with its mane and teeth. The kin and the cream. White mingled with red. The roots that pin the corner of the board down. Keep you safe from your opponent. You lift a paw to toy with it. Touch its velvety pads. Checkmate, your opponent says. She grins. Look too closely, did we? You need to be careful with Sintelac. Sintelac chess sets. Her face is blank and white as the dome of the chess pawn. Dome of a chess pawn. Get out. Get back to the ship until the waking dream of the coral clears. Oh, so it looks like if you fail, you just gain terror, basically. Hmm. 45 terror. That's not too bad. I mean... I could just run, like, a fear ship and just increase my fear to hell and then reduce it down to 50 when I get back to London. Let's do it one more time. I failed. Oh, but this time I only gained one terror. Let's do it again. I succeeded. See, so, yes, yeah, same text. Extra move. Gained a page. Gained 250 fragments. Nice. Okay, now what? Okay, now something's changed. Yeah, now stuff has changed. Chess, the chess players watch you carefully, or an extra move. As you reach the crossroads in Port Cecil, a voice whispers, Pawn to Bishop Six. A rearing shape the size of a cottage, rather like a... Mitrid... Mitrid Bishop? Indeed. It stands six yards to your right. A crevice in its coral side might be a cave mouth. What? Hmm. Unlocked when principles end, principality is speaking with the principles. So am I, like, conversing with the Sintelac or something? Which one do I do? Can I do both? 
I'm curious about this one, this weird cave mouth. A stronger silver. You squeeze through the crevice, into a narrow space like a stair. Irregular steps lead down. The silver light is strong here, and it grows stronger with each step downwards. The Pulse of the Principles. Silvery light fills a sea cave, dripping from the walls. It condenses to pools of whitish fluid on an uneven floor. Sea sounds fills the cave, strong and slow, like the long beating of a heart. On a square slab of coral, someone has set up a game of chess. The pieces are different from the ones used in London. You see the spiraling bishops, the corner roots, the kin, and the terrible cream. As you touch each one, a deep voice whispers its name. Move a paw or move a knight. The knights are fanged like lions. A touch will wound you. Hmm. That's an aggressive, aggressive move. And this is a safe move. Let's go with the safe move. The cat's paw, perhaps. Or the skin paw. This is a safe move. Ah, the cavern breathes around you. That felt charming. Thank... Thank you are? What? Thank you are. I don't understand what that means. The game soothes the pangs of... Desolation in. But I want so to be less. I am tired of thought. Will you help me? Sleep will not enough. I desire no dreams. Will you help? What am I speaking to? I guess I'll offer my help. Offer assistance with dissolution. In the flow of air through the cavern, you hear the voice of the principles, languorously pleading. I offer an assistant. It flutes and Syntelac. You enjoy Syntelac, aren't you? It's grammar so strange. You enjoy Syntelac, aren't you? Very, very strange. A rubbery man rises from a cyst in the floor. An iridescent... Kykatrice crosses its face. Even in this flood of silvery light, it pulses like a fevered moon. It shuffles closer. Shalt flyens, it wheezes. I think that means salt lions. Unprecedented. A rubbery capable of human speech. In however debased and pitiful a mode. My emissary, the cave whispers. Treat it, be gently. The whisper follows you back up the steps. Take it to the salt lions. A rubbery man. What the hell? Some wheezing, strange wheezing creature. And now have a nacreous outcast. Its brothers and sisters have abandoned it. Pearly light drips from its mantle crest. The principles have touched it, and not gently. But it can work miracles with salt and fish flesh. What is it going to do at the salt lions? This is very strange. Wow. <laughs> this is very cool. Where did my, my nacreous friend go? Where are you? I don't see it. I do have it, don't I? Where did you go? I don't even know where it would be. Hold on, let me try to find it. Yeah, so I thought that that being, like, came aboard my ship, but the only thing I actually found is just this. It says, Principality Seeking the Salt Lions. I don't know if maybe I didn't take him aboard or what. I, I thought I did. Let me just go back into here, I guess. No, I can't do anything else. I, yeah, I guess I just need to go to the Salt Lions. I just thought he'd actually be specifically in my hold or something, or at least listed as a curiosity, but I don't believe he is. Hmm. 
Anyway, let's take a look. Salt lines. Is that going to bring me out of my way? Where did I plan on going? Um, I need to hit up Hunter's Keep and Vendor Bite. Yeah, so I suppose I could just go to the Salt Lions next, and then Hunter's Keep. And then back to Fallen London, refuel and resupply, and then go up to Vendor Bite. That sounds good. Yeah, that seems good. And do I have enough fuel for that? Six? I'm not quite sure I have enough fuel, so just to be careful, I'm going to buy one more. I almost want to get just one more. No, no, no. Let, let's just stay there. I'm going to get tons of fuel when I get back to London. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, before this episode ends up way too long, I think I should end it here. A lot of really cool stuff has happened. This is this is awesome. This game is just filled with so many strange creatures and just strange and fascinating things. I feel like I'm just barely scratching the surface of understanding how this this universe works. It's, it's really very cool. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.